Hello everyone, I'm back, Miss Jen here with another episode of Book Break. And today I thought I would read two stories for you and they're both about a different animal. And that animal might be doing something a little different. Ready, let's get started. The first one is called Mrs. Hen's Big Surprise. And it's written by someone, I, I don't know quite how to pronounce this author's name. Uh, it's Christelle Desmonet. Des no Looks like it's French. Sorry if I messed that up. Let's see. Mrs. Hen's Big Surprise. I'm going to shift a little bit there. So, okay. Can you see? Yep. All right. Mrs. Hen lived in a pretty house in the middle of a meadow. She was sad, though, because she didn't have a baby chick to love. One day, when Mrs. Hen was gardening, she tripped over a big rock. What is this ugly rock doing in my vegetables? She cried. She took a closer look. Mrs. Hen dug and dug and dug and dug. The big rock wasn't a big rock at all. It was an egg. Mrs. Head jumped for joy and shouted, I'm going to have a chick, my very own chick. Wow, that's exciting. Happily and very carefully, Mrs. Hen wheeled the beautiful egg up the hill. Then she set the egg down in her living room, and like the good hen that she was, she sat on it. Look at how big that egg is compared to Mrs. Hen. How's that gonna work? She sat on that egg and knitted, imagining the wonderful life she was going to have with her little chick. All the adventures are gonna go on. A few days later, Mrs. Cow came to visit Mrs. Hen. A few days later, Mrs. Cow came to visit. Mrs. Hen told Mrs. Cow her incredible story. Soon, I'm going to be the mother of a handsome chick, she said proudly. Look at Mrs. Cow's eyes. Hmm? Mrs. Cow's wondering what's going on. Mrs. Cow told the whole story to Mrs. Pig. I think our friend Mrs. Hen has some bizarre ideas, Mrs. Hen confided. She's sitting on a very strange looking egg she found in her vegetable garden, and she thinks it's gonna hatch into a chick. And Mrs. Pig told Mrs. Goose, who told Mrs. Sheep, who told Mrs. Turkey, who told Mrs. Porcupine. And Mrs. Hen received a lot more visitors, but her neighbors made fun of her and whispered that strange looking egg was never going to hatch. Well, that's not a friendly thing to do, is it? So Mrs. Hen sat alone with her egg and waited and waited and waited some more, but the seasons passed and still the egg did not hatch. Mrs. Hen wanted to help the egg hatch. She wobbled the egg, she jostled the egg, but nothing happened. Are you going to hatch or not? She cried. Look at how long her knitting is now. It's so long. Sadly, Mrs. Hen decided to roll the egg back down to the garden. But suddenly, the egg rolled away from Mrs. Hen. Faster and faster, it rolled into the land with a at the bottom of the hill. Crack, crack. What a surprise. Two big feet emerged from the broken shell and the eggs started to walk. Mrs. Hen hurried down the hill as fast as she could go. Well, those big feet. Do those look like the feet of a chick? Crack, a huge head appeared at the top of the egg. My beloved chick, cried Mrs. Hen. 
you finally come. For sure it was a funny looking chick. It didn't have feathers or a beak and it wasn't yellow. But Mrs. Hen didn't care. She hugged her chick tight and welcomed him into the world. What does he look like? Maybe a dinosaur? The neighbors were amazed. It was a happy day for Mrs. Hen. She and her chick began the life Mrs. Hen had always dreamed about. Look at, he's so much bigger than she is. Her feet can't even touch the ground. And there they are. The end. Mrs. Hen's big surprise. Did you like that surprise? A dinosaur. All right, the next book I brought for you is called Duck on a Bike by David Shannon. Do ducks ride bicycles? Hmm, let's see what's happening in this one. This could be a silly story. Duck on a Bike. Okay, you see the pictures? Okay. One day down on the farm, Duck got a wild idea. I bet I could ride a bike, he thought. He waddled to where the boy parked his bike, climbed on and began to ride. At first he rode, he rode slowly and he wobbled a lot, but it was fun. Look at that bike, look at that duck. You think that's gonna work? Duck rode past Cow and waved to her. Hello, Cow, said Duck. Moo, said Cow. But what she thought was, a duck on a bike? That's the silliest thing I've ever seen. Then Duck rode past Sheep. Hello, Sheep, said Duck. Bah, said Sheep. But what she thought was, He's going to hurt himself if he's not careful. Duck was riding better now. He rode past Dog. Hello, Dog, said Duck. Woo, said Dog. But what he thought was, that is a mighty neat trick. Then Duck rode past Cat. Hello, Cat, said Duck. Meow, said Cat, but what she thought was, I wouldn't waste my time riding a bike. Duck pedaled a little faster. He rode past Horse. Hello, Horse, said Duck. Nay, said Horse, but what he thought was, you're still not as fast as me, Duck. Duck rang his bell as he rode towards Chicken said duck. Cluck, 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 said chicken. But what she thought was, watch where you're going, duck. Then duck rode past goat. Hello, goat, said duck. Ma, said the goat. But what he thought was, hmm, I'd like to eat that bike. Duck stood on the seat and rode past pig and pig. Hello, pigs, said Duck. Oink, oink, said Pig and Pig. But what they thought was, Duck is such a show off. Then Duck rode no hands past Mouse. Hello, Mouse, said Duck. Squeak, said Mouse. But what he thought was, I wish I could ride a bike just like Duck. Duck looks like he's having so much fun. Suddenly, a whole bunch of kids came down the road on bikes. They were in such a hurry, they didn't see Duck. They parked their bikes by the house and went inside. Look at that. That's a lot of kids, huh? Hmm. What do you think the animals are thinking? Can you guess what's going to happen next? Now all the animals had bikes. They rode around and around the barnyard. 
This is fun, they all said. Good idea, duck. Look at them all riding bikes. Oh, the goat, the goat's eating the basket. Look at them all. All on there. Oh, look, the pigs are on a tandem bicycle. Two bikes in one. Wonder how cow can balance. He's got such a small bike. Then they put the bikes back by the house and no one knew that on that afternoon there had been a cow, a sheep, a dog, a cat, a horse, a chicken, a goat, two pigs, a mouse, and a duck on a bike. The end. That was Duck on a Bike by David. What did you think? Was that silly? I'd like to imagine that all the animals could get on bikes and ride around the farmyard when we're not using our bikes. All right, that's it for today. I'll see you all next time. Bye.